Tony Hawk. And this is my underground part two. Except this time it's more of a jackass themed adventure. With Bam being on the same power level as Tony, you kind of got to add the stunts and the funny stuff, you know? And Phil Margera's in the game, so what more can you ask for? Before we begin, I got to create my character. And I'm going to do the same outfit I did in the last game, except this time I'm wearing an eye patch. Horror. The game starts off exactly after the events of Tony Hawk's Underground 1. We're tearing it up in our hometown of Jersey when a black van busts in and kidnaps me. Oh. What the dog doing? <coughs> a rather iconic scene here with the hockey mask and chainsaw making Eric Sparrow pee his pants. <coughs> but it was only a prank. The masked crusaders happened to be Tony and Bam. Let us enlighten you. The captains of the World Destruction Tour. I say it's choosing time. The skaters are all picked, and it comes down to me and Polly. Wheels of Fury rise. You want to kill me? <coughs> So Bam takes Polly, and then I get taken by the Hawkman himself. You're with me. Let the first annual World Destruction Tour begin! Bam, the tire jacks ran right up my- Now we're taking through some training before we go on our big adventure. And it's just simple stuff like how to jump and grab onto stuff, how to climb, how to tag billboards, how to jump from one rail to the next while continuing your combo. This game introduced the focus mechanic where you slow down time and do whatever tricks you want, and then uh, you finish it. Let's begin. We start off in Boston. Now, although it's a follow-up to Thug 1, the story progresses much differently. Nothing's in order, and it's all about teamwork. Do objectives to get a certain amount of points, and then Big Tony shoots you a text, and he's like, Hey, we're ready to leave. Start out by knocking out the stuff that'll rack us up some serious points. For myself, we got some simple stuff like marking your territory, in which I really never did any of these throughout the game, I'm just showing you this. Doing tricks on beat to a boombox, and even stealing an injured child from the hospital and getting him all the way to Tony before any doctors can knock you over. Stop right there, criminal! Now I feel much better. Ooh, that was a hoot. Now in order to rack up more points, I gotta go meet up with my pro teammate, Rodney. About time I get to skate some tech stuff. This unlocks an even bigger list of stunts. My favorite being tag the billboard, which is as simple as climbing up to the billboard and pressing a button. And before I got all the way up there, I actually found some cool Boston Easter eggs. Like this goat sitting here still as night. And this kid getting wild with a stick over here. He's an unlockable character, by the way. Now, the real fun happens when you scale the Capitol building that happens to contain Benjamin Franklin. I'll invent a move called the Franklin. You get to do all kinds of cool stuff like breaking into a bank, all about the Benjamins. What about hitting massive combos into the Boston Tea Party boat? And even acid dropping off the eagle's nest? Unreal! But the fun doesn't end there. Why don't we head down to the bar to get a little something to take the edge off? Oh hey, it's Jesse James. He's so cool. What's happening, Slick? The secret characters all have a different vehicle to use. And there's like one trick, but it's still fun to ride around. Even jump over some cars to unlock this moving half pipe, where I finish out the level doing a mean manual combo. If the challenges looked easy so far, it's because I'm playing on easy. Uh-oh. Tony's calling. Let's get out of here. You're retarded. No, you are. Oh! Sorry, Bam. Looks like Team Tony pulled out today's win. And what's this? Paulie clutches up and puts Bam's team back in the lead. Now Team Tony takes the L and must spin the Wheel of Loogies. Hosted by Phil. Now, sadly, we land on Cut One Loose, so we gotta get rid of someone. Cut One Loose. <laughs> Barcelona. Spain. Que pasa? Welcome to Spain! New continent, new characters, crazier challenges. <laughs> I was immediately drawn to this fiasco going on by the bull cage, so I threw a tomato with the might of Zeus, and all hell broke loose. <laughs> so we saved the matador, and he's all like... So now I gotta see what he's all about. You wouldn't believe what this man can do. 720 grabs off a pile of poop? Uncanny. Grinding down a spiral staircase with whatever move this is? Amazing. Rumor has it Steve O's here. Uh, well, he texted me. So I know. No way, you found me. Check out my mechanical bull. And let me tell you, his bull sucks. You bail so easily and it takes like 10 seconds to get back on it. But that didn't stop me from going head on with the real bull. Or even clipping inside of this building when I was actually trying to get on top of it to launch majestically into the air and then ask to drop into the planters. My blood pressure's skyrocketing right now. Kind of like Chad Muska transferring onto this big billboard. 
We now have enough points to move on, and like the great Patrick Starr once said, Let's leave! Now, Team Tony got the win here in Spain, but the wheel landed on Rookie Swap, so me and Eric are switching teams. That puts us back in the lead! You mean that puts us back in the lead? Tough luck for me. On to Germany. Berlin. Germany. Now skating for Team Bam, we have a lot to accomplish. Like getting into this haunted church to free the trapped spirits. <laughs> Dumping this big fish tank onto Wee Man. Getting him wet. And even preventing children from smoking cigs. How admirable. Are you smoking yet? Fun fact here. When I went over to switch to Bam, it gave me the option to save. And then it froze my game and corrupted my entire save. And that made me sick. Literally. <laughs> So I had to go to the hospital, and Polly's out there looking to wreak havoc, doing more wheelchair flips than a angry man in a nursing home. There's something very off-putting about Polly. I just he just grosses me out. Point secured. Let's go meet up with Daddy Phil. <laughs> Chad Muska's flopping around this hot dog here, and in the meantime, the wheel lands on Rookie Swap again, landing me back on Team Tony. And uh-oh, what's this? In comes Nigel Beaverhausen. A producer who wants to film our entire tour for his own profits. We ignore his offer, and after a quick trip to Thailand, <laughs> we make our way over to Australia. Australia. We land safely in Sydney. P. Sherman 42. And by safe, I mean not very, because right off rip, I'm not a spinning on this here fire hydrant. I wonder what'll happen next. <laughs> After slamming the koala's head into this wall, a new secret path is made, where we can find the real Aussie in his go-kart. You found me! I'll show you what a real Aussie can do! Now if I could rank any of the secret vehicles, the go-kart would rank probably number one. Nothing can really go wrong in this thing, unless of course I decide to grind down the arm of this crane. Whoa! Ball alert. I've had enough chaos for now. Let's go find Rodney and get technical. Starting off with a high altitude acid drop into this pool. There's more to this, just wait. And then accidentally grinding on this electric box that happens to drain the pool as well. Not a spinning on the koala's fingers? What? Now I know what you're thinking. What else can Rodney do? Why don't I grab some shrimp and show ya? All that shrimp made me hungry. If only I could find a guy grilling shrimp around here. Oh, hey. Throw a few shrimp on the barbie. Now, the shrimp guy has some solid moves in his arsenal. Would you believe me if I claimed to pull off a double rotisserie over the whole darn parking lot? I wouldn't believe that. I don't know who would. So I left. Now, Team Bam took the victory, and it's getting real medieval out here. Ow! But wait, it seems Phil is miscounted. It's actually tied. I guess I should have carried the one. <laughs> wait again. Beaverhausen's secretly filming us and selling bootleg DVDs. New contest. Who can pull the best stunt on Beaverhausen? Loser goes home. Now go get him. Now, Eric stole his clothes, but I got something even better. I'll wear them. You look just like Beaverhausen. Now go piss off some Aussies. I think I'll beaver blast all the construction workers. It's the ultimate prank. <laughs> and it worked perfectly. Eric goes home, on to New Orleans. Out of all the memories I have of this game, I can confidently say that what I'm about to do is at the very top of the list. After grinding and opening up all the crypts, this happens. Papa Legba flies in from out of the woods and performs a demonic voodoo ritual to curse the entire city, creating a portal to hell and turning everyone to zombies. <laughs> who t pose at a long distance, and we can destroy them with our tricycle. Another top tier vehicle, you can do a lot of cool things in it, like spinning on top of the Neversoft logo, and grinding through town, spinning more signs than a guy that spins signs. Pure chaos. That's enough, I'm starting to get scared. Time to save Nolans. We must go straight to the source, into the pits of hell, and grinding on this altar, or whatever it is, and then tying the combo together with the compelling power of Christ. Shout out Jesus. <laughs> It's now safe to meet up with our buddy Mike Valley, who after getting Big Air onto this billboard to tag it, I have to add that, I'm sorry, immediately grinds on this party float to save our jester friend. Sure, I'll give it a try. <laughs> I have enough points to leave, but I'm not ready to leave yet. Whoa, I'm so high in the air right now. I gotta do a 1080 before I leave. Team Tony loses again, and we're just hanging out when Nigel pops in and he's like, I've been secretly filming you guys the whole time, and your bill is mighty high. Let me pay for the trip. Then Bam and Tony go, you, you got, got a deal. deal. And even with the new funding, Team Tony's so far behind that there's no chance we can come back. Until the wheel lands on the equalizer, the granddaddy of all stunts. In comes Chad Muska on a helicopter. He did a big twist over the helicopter. But we can't let the cops catch us on the way to the rooftops. Hey. Easy enough. Let's make this happen. Muska then crashes the helicopter into the bog 
and gets taken in by the cops. My team's in shambles. I can't possibly do this alone. Then Tony says something that brought a tear to my eye. I'm skating with you. You and I are gonna bring it home. Skatopia. The skateboarding mecca. This level's great because the challenges are a perfect blend of skating and funky creativity. We're talking about using fiery piles of garbage to light up a firework. Or even zipline toss dropping into the big central bowl. What about spray painting Bigfoot onto this billboard here? The only thing that could top that is if I found little Ryan Sheckler hanging out in a barn somewhere. You might learn something, kid. Enough waiting. It's time to tactically deploy Tony onto the scene. Check All right, let me out. show you something. Spine the mine. How dangerous. Mountaintop manual all the way down to the entrance. Once again, I'm on easy, so balancing really wasn't that hard at all. The list says we have to not a spin on this here tree. So I climb the pine and this happens. Jesse James uses the chainsaw to create a motor board and ah, Bigfoot's on the rooftop. He jacks the board from us and zooms off into the horizon. So I look around and find him. This board can hit top speed by simply going into a manual, but still didn't have enough speed to gap over this house, which was the only challenge that broke my spirits. Bigfoot really didn't have much to do, so I meet up with Bam to embark in the grand finale. So Bam wants to celebrate his team's victory by blowing Skatopia to smithereens. So we go around the park setting off all kinds of fireworks in a multitude of ways, grinding down this big wick like John, climbing on top of this giant globe bomb. That's literally the challenge. Or jumping on top of these eight box bombs. There's no skating involved in this at all. And finishing off by grinding the spin bomb multiple times until the countdown begins. We gotta get out of here, but let's take the critters with us. We gotta round up all the critters and get out of here before we're blown to bits. Collecting dogs gives you a time bonus. Okay, I think we're safe, but wait a minute. I'm still up here, and I'm in danger. Bam's so confident in his victory that he bets me 1,000 points that I can't make it down Skatopia in one combo. Little does he know, I got more tricks up my sleeve than a magician with multiple tricks up his sleeve. Sleeve. My life finally has a meaning. What? No! I did the unthinkable and made Team Tony the World Destruction Tour champs. And Nigel's super excited to release the masterpiece of a skate tape to the world. Brought to you by Nigel Leva House. Aiden, where are toilet paper? I need some toilet paper up here. Got him. And before we go, we'd just like to leave you with one little thing. <laughs> and that's it. That's the game. Beating the story unlocks Shrek from the Shrek trilogy. He's got perfect stats because he's a perfect man. Yeah, overall, I had a good time playing this. It's less of a story of pure skating and more of jackass style humor and stunts. It's a great contrast to the first one, so it allows you to play both and get completely different experiences. And uh, yeah, that's about it for me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like or even leave a comment down below if you don't want Papa Legba to come to your town and create hell in the middle of the city. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support I get every video. And that's about it for me. I gotta get out of here. I have a torn knee. If I can edit myself doing a trick, that'd be really cool. Oh, that hurts. Oh my god.